Uh, Trump is doing all he can, as far as I could see, to take every sling and every arrow. And he's out there on the campaign trail. He's hitting three cities in a day. In between, he's signing a huge peace treaty between Israel and Bahrain, United Arab Emirates. The things he's doing right now are absolutely crazy. He doesn't get not a sliver of positivity, not one sliver of positivity, but yet he calls them the fake news. He blasts them all the time. But then he goes on ABC for a town hall with George Stephanopoulos, who's the little pup dog of uh, the Clinton cartel. He knows he's going to get attacked on there, but he does it anyway. And look what they let a town hall person. Joe Biden gets the questions in advance and he answers loading it into his teleprompter. They don't usually let a questioner follow up at a town hall, but watch what they let this guy do to Donald Trump. Not been seeing uh, a change. Uh, quite frankly, under your administration, under the Obama's administration, under the Bush, under the Clinton, the very same things happen and the very same systems and cycles continue to, co continue to ensue. And we need to see because uh, you say again, we need to see when was that great because that pushes us back to a time in which we cannot identify with such greatness. And I mean, you've said everything else about choking and everything else, but you have yet to address and acknowledge okay. that there's been a race problem in America. So if you go, well, I hope there's not a race problem. I can tell you there's none with me because I have great respect for all races, for everybody. This country is great because of it. But when you go back six months and you take a look at what was happening, you can't even compare that with past administrations. When you look at income levels and a lot of things because of the job situation where they had the lowest income, the best, the best unemployment numbers they've ever had, the black community by far. And that was solving a lot of problems. And you know what else it was? It was bringing people together. I was starting to get, just before this was, you know, we were having a long run of success. I was starting to get calls from Democrats that, hey, it's starting to work. Let's get together. People that you would never have thought this would have happened with. There was going to be unity, but unfortunately that was hurt because we got set back. Yeah, but I'm now, sure. I think next year is going to be one of our best years economically. But, but, the African-American, the black community was doing better than it had ever done by far, both in terms of unemployment, uh, home ownership, so many different statistics, even in terms of But crime. there was still a gap between blacks and whites. Well, I mean, there was a gap, but we were doing a good job. It was getting better. And then it was artificially shut down by this disease that came onto our land. And the guy follows up like he's a, like he's a TV commentator or something. And I haven't seen you do anything. I haven't seen this, that, the other thing. Like, I got to give this guy Trump a lot of credit. And maybe that's why I'm wearing this jacket today, because, you know, I, I, the guy needs support wherever he can get it, because every single day he's in the full onslaught attack by the left. And even when he goes on these left wing shows to say, hey, I could take it, I could stand up to it. Uh, you don't see Joe Biden on Fox News, do you? On anywhere on Fox News. But you see him limping out there to a Latinos for Biden uh, rally and playing Despacito, his theme song, for the man who is... Uh, I would say the Democratic Party, he's uh, killing me softly um, because he is just dying a slow death as a candidate right in front of our eyes. So maybe Despacito is the right song for him because it's happening slowly. But uh, the election cycle is uh, certainly speeding up and uh, nobody knows what's happening out in California where all the flames are burning better than Omar Navarro, who's going to talk about that next.